Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Geminis. Gemini, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Geminis for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages and guidance for my Geminis, please. Okay, we have the Six of Wands. Your person showing up as the Seven of Cups in reverse. They're viewing you as the Three of Pentacles. What you're not seeing is the Page of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. And we've got the Three of Cups in reverse, okay? So I think um, it's possible there has been some sort of third party interference here. And that may be why your person wasn't taking action or maybe was a little bit distant. That's if this is somebody brand new. Okay, this is definitely not if you've been dealing with this person for a long time. Now, maybe you have another option or other options here, Geminis. I do see that there's potential for victory here with the Six of Wands. Um, I also think you're going to find out that this person's a little bit more nervous or anxious about you or about this connection. They definitely see you as very, very compatible. Some of you, you know, third party interference, Gemini's really could be work. Um, it could be obviously a romantic rival, but it could be work. It could be friends and family. It could be, really could be anything distance. Okay, the five of swords in reverse and the nine of swords. Okay, so there's a lot of potential for victory here. I'm feeling like I'm feeling like both of you are really in your head about this connection, though. And you both might be seeing other people. You both might be single. Maybe this is somebody you've just recently started talking to. Um, there could be some fears that, you know, jealousy or other options are, you know, interfering in this connection. Um, your person is starting to see clearly, though, that you're the one that they want. Yeah, look at that. Three of Pentacles coming out twice. They definitely want to work on this. Your person's ready to end something to come towards you or to bring balance to this connection. Your person's ready to end something or, you know, to make some major changes to bring balance to this connection. I had to repeat that for you, Geminis, because I do feel this person's very dedicated. Um, I feel like they want victory. I feel like you may want victory. They see you as on the same page, that you want the same things. The Nine of Swords energy, though, is like somebody here is like really freaking out, really nervous, really anxious about uh, about about going for it is what I'm hearing. Um, if there has been any conflict, I do see that it can be resolved. Um, you know, again, this person might be worried you're going back to an ex or you have gone back to an ex or you have other options. Um, you know, like I said, some of you might work together. Um, yeah, they definitely feel there's unfinished business with you. This person wants, an, they, they want you to take a leap of faith towards them. And I think they're just not sure, Gemini, that you're, that you're willing to. They see you as so incredibly compatible and they want you to end something to come towards them because I think they're ready to end something to come towards you. Now, again, like I said, it doesn't mean that both of you are seeing other people or they're seeing other people or you are. I mean, maybe for some of you, because we do see the three of cups in reverse, but there could also just be gossip or some sort of interference here. But this person wants you to take a leap of faith. Um, they, they want you to want to be on the same page with them, but they're nervous. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. They have a lot of love for you. Um, this person's had a tough time in love. That's what I'm seeing here, Gemini. They've definitely experienced difficulties in love. They have a lot of love for you, but they're nervous. They're nervous. And that could be past baggage, or it could be because they, they're not sure if you're completely single, available, you want the same things. So there's a really big decision to make here with the two of pentacles. Yeah. Clarity and the three of cups. So I, I think there's, you know, someone here, whether it's you or your person may be telling you about what this interference is. It could be gossip. The three of cups in reverse can certainly be like friends or family, you know, uh, talking SHIT about you or about them or something like that. It can be rumors. I do think that spirit's telling you to make a decision here. See clearly that this can be saved. Okay. Or you two can come together. And we see the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. A lot of my gems, you're not going to be single for very long. This is a very strong soulmate connection. 
All right. And whatever this third party is, it feels like it's not a deal breaker. Okay. And what I mean by that is like, you know, first of, first and foremost, what your deal breakers are. But what I mean by that is like, it, it might be that you're not exclusive with this person yet. And there are other options around you, around them, around both of you. Um, you know, something like that. Like I said, it could be friends and family interfering. It could be work schedules. This person, this person adores you. Um, they do feel divinely guided to come towards you. The double sevens there coming through. Somebody, if not both of you, have been really stressing about this connection. Okay, so your person is your person is moving on from something from the past. They're happily single. They're having fun, spending time with their friends. So they're not putting you in a third party situation here. Is what I'm getting. That you know, like they're single. They might be dating. They might have other options. They want to eliminate other options. And just be with you, Gemini. All right. And give it time. That's what the Spirit's saying. They might have taken their time. That might have been something that kind of bothered you. Or maybe you felt like, okay, this person's a player. I'm not really getting that, though. I'm just getting, like, that possibly there were other people around them. But they're they're willing to make sacrifices to be with you. To come towards you. Advice for my gems. Yeah. So I can see here that you've been frustrated. There's a lack of confidence here. Um, fear or ego issues may have been at play as well. All right. And endings bring new beginnings. <clears throat> and for some of my gems, you know, maybe you're going to end it and you're going to move on to someone or something else. Okay. Cause you are going to get the clarity that you need to move on from this, which can either mean you move on together or you move on separately. Spirit saying you might be meeting somebody new. So for those of you who are ready to move forward and you don't want to deal with this or you don't want to, you're, you're not interested, there is somebody new coming your way. Okay, it's going to be a powerful connection. But for a lot of my gems, you know, I feel this is confirmation. This is somebody that you've been dating probably more loosely than anything else. And um, yeah, and I think they're planning a date to come towards you to tell you how they feel to work things out. All right. And tell you the truth about whatever this interference may have been. Because I do think you're going to get the truth. So let's see. What do they want my gems to know? Your intellect arouses me. Wow. I daydream about a life with you. And I don't know why this happened. So they might be feeling a little bit confused here. But I feel like that confusion is coming to an end with the Seven of Cups in reverse. I think they're very clear about their feelings for you. All right. And we see at the bottom of the deck, finding out the truth crushed me. So for some of you, you know, maybe this, this person is finding out you've moved on or you're ready to move on. Like I said, a lot of my, my gems, you're out there dating or your advice is to just like not put your life on hold. You definitely have a soulmate coming. You have a soulmate on your path. You've got a big decision to make. So it might be between two people or about whether or not you want to move forward with this person. Any advice? Yeah. You're about to get a proposal. So your romance is about to evolve and level up. So I do see you getting into a higher level of commitment. At the bottom of the deck, we do see there was some sort of interference here. Or there has been some sort of interference. So, And a lot of that, that's just confirmation gems that you have choices. Okay, that you have two choices. Um, so make the best decisions for you and yours. All right, I'm sending you lots of love and light. If these messages do resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.